What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, today we're going to tackle something a little different. We're going to do the hand. We're going to be back on our tension series and this is going to be part three. We're going to tackle a little metal, a little chain link, some skin tones, and rope. We're going to use some prior techniques that we learned in the previous video so it should be pretty relaxed. Let's get started. What's up guys? Pretty much we're just going to get right into it. We're going to start by just base coating all of this metal gold. Nothing too serious, nothing too crazy. We're just going to hammer a real nice thick coat on. And in places where we want it to look worn, we're going to kind of stipple it on. So we'll be doing some painting and also some stippling to add some texture for a worn metal look. Right now we're just doing some good old stippling, just adding some more dynamic texture to the front of what I believe would be getting damaged and smacked around and dinged up. Here we're just going to dry brush on gold onto the chain mail. And this is something that I will do probably three or four times by the end of this video. I'll spare you guys watching me do that four times, but at the end of the video you'll see a completed finished shot. Of pretty much what we're working on right now, but with all of the layers. If you're familiar with my previous video, you know how to do rope and we're just applying the same techniques here. There will be a little bit of after touches that we're going to do, such as having the gold kind of reflect onto the rope a little bit, because the idea is this hand's going to be holding a glowing rock, and that glow is going to pick up the color of the rock and also any reflective surfaces by it. Going back to our painting gold and painting rope video, this is pretty much going to be the same technique. We're just going to be using washes to kind of age the gold up, create uh, kind of a fake patina, and we're also going to paint inside the chain to create some separation between the skin and the chain mail as well. Same techniques as in the previous videos, we're not going to let that wash pool up excessively in certain areas, kind of control where we want our shadows to go. One of the benefits of having three daughters is my nail painting game is on point. So no, no fret here. And the hand doesn't move around as much, so that's a bonus.
And what I'm actually doing here is I'm just going to kind of dab the wash and pull up some of that color. So it creates almost an outer ring and I can kind of control how much wash is actually on the fingernail itself. And this just creates the effect of different tones going on inside the nail so it looks more realistic. And you're going to repeat this step as many times as you want till you get to the desired effect. This is just one set of doing the dark wash with the lighter white wash on top of it. Dabbing up any pooling or excess paint off with paper towel. And so this is just one set of those layers and here is a final shot of about six layers. Nothing too special going on here, just doing some highlighting, uh, first with the dry brush on the rope and now just doing some edge highlighting with the gold. Just creating some brighter and brighter highlights. Um, touching less surface area of where I want to highlight, but taking some brighter colors. All I'm doing here is just kind of mixing some of my previous red with some bright yellow. Almost looks like if mustard could get a bloody nose. That's what that color looks like to me. But it helps tie the gold and the red all together, so it looks good. All I'm doing here is just putting some wash in the knuckles and any other recesses that I want to drive the shadows down a little bit more. I'm going to do that in the chips and the armor. Here it is. We made it. The end of the video. Thanks for sticking around. You know, remember this is only with uh, one layer of each of these things on here. Here's a couple of pictures of what it looks like after about four layers packed on there. And remember, you can take it as detailed as you want. The more layers you add, the more dynamic it's going to look. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to ring that bell notification, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and take care of yourselves and each other. Peace and love.